What's up guys, you know who it is, Austin Dunham back again with another video and I know I'm wearing a shirt right now and I really never wear shirts in videos, it's kind of weird, it feels kind of weird too, but it's uh, fall here and it's getting kind of cold so just trust me, the gains are still underneath, I promise. But today, I have a tutorial video on the freestanding handstand push-up. Now this move is super cool to do, impress your friends, and also it's a really good shorter workout. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to do it from zero to finish. I hope you enjoy, so stay tuned. All right, the freestanding handstand push-up is a strength movement combining balance and like I said, strength. So that being said, first off, we have to prep our wrist out because since we're on our wrist balancing, it puts a lot of strain on it. So one quick tip that I do before every workout is just to simply stretch out your wrist. So you can either do it like I'm doing here, pull your wrist and make sure to go backwards too. You wanna be able to at least bend your wrist probably 90 degrees. See how mine's hit 90 degrees easily? Because if, if you have a limited range of motion and you're like right here, then it's going to really hurt for you. Also, you can do some of these just to warm up. All right, once you have your wrist warmed up, what is the next step to actually learning the freestanding handstand push-up? All right, so since this is a balanced strength move, the first part, the key part, is that you have to be able to hold a handstand and you must be able to hold a balanced handstand. Now, you don't have to go crazy and hold like a 30 second handstand, but my recommendation is to at least be able to be comfortable with a 10 second handstand. And I actually made a few handstand tutorials, so if you wanna check those out, all right, so the next thing that comes with uh, getting to the freestanding handstand push-up is building your shoulder strength. So you have the balance, or hopefully you do, and indirectly you was building shoulder strength while practicing the handstand, but now we're gonna throw in a little bit of dynamic movements to help build our shoulder strength even more. So first up, you already know what we have, the pike push-up. The pike push-up is honestly one of the best beginner variations that you can do if you wanna learn the freestanding handstand push-ups. So you wanna be able to do at least 10 of them, they're done just like this, this position, you're coming straight down your head. And also you want to be able to do at least a 30 second wall handstand. So just holding yourself against the wall for at least 30 seconds, keeping your arms straight, keeping your back straight, and trying to maintain the best form as possible. Now the last exercise that I recommend to build your shoulder strength up is to do wall handstand push-ups. Uh, so we're doing handstand push-ups except for we're just using some assistance now. So you can call it an assisted handstand push-up because we're using the wall to help balance us. So once I was able to do at least 10 to through 15 reps of the wall handstand push-up with my back facing towards the wall, then that's when I was um, actually like strong enough and confident enough to actually try the freestanding handstand push-up. So those are the strength requirements. Get your pipe push-ups up, get your um, static wall handstand holds up, and also lastly, make sure to work on your wall handstand push-ups. All right, now let's talk about the actual form of the handstand push-up. All right, so when you're in the handstand, here's some key things to remember. So you should be able to balance a handstand by now. And then you wanna keep your legs tight, as tight as possible and keep your elbows in. So you don't flare your elbows out as you're doing it. Just like this. See how I'm keeping my elbows in as I come down? And come back up. Another thing you might notice when I'm doing it is that when you do a freestanding handstand push-up, unlike the wall, you're not coming straight down on your head. You kind of angle it a little bit. So your head is kind of going above or um, in front of your fingers, then you're pushing yourself back up to your straight into a handstand again. So we're not coming straight down like this, it's almost like this, you know what I mean? So make sure to keep your body angled a bit, and like I said, keep your elbows in, and keep your legs tight as you're doing the movement. All right, my last tip with the handstand push-up form is that when you come up, push really hard with your palms. Don't really focus on your fingertips. As you're balancing, you wanna do that, but as you come down, focus on the weight in your palms, and use your palms to force yourself back up into the handstand, then you can use your fingertips to balance. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Literally, this is all the stuff that I took use of when I was learning the freestanding handstand push-up, and that's how I got good at it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe for future videos that are coming, and I really hope this video helped you out. And I hope to see you soon also. Peace.
riding with my top down. Ask me where I've been. I've been running around the city. Running around the city, spinning stacks and shit.